everybody thank you for joining me thank you for coming back and welcome if you're new um today i'm doing short nails on myself and um before i show you i want you to think back if you've not seen it before look back at one of the first videos i ever did which was going from short bitten nails um and i've got loads of videos up of different techniques and done some really long nails um but i was interested in what was happening with my own nails underneath because a lot of people say that you damage your nails putting false nails on and building nails and stuff but in actual fact it's it's not having the nails on that causes the damage it is uh, either at the application stage or removing them incorrectly uh, and causing damage that way particularly if you pick them off terrible when you sit picking them off and I've done that myself um, but I'm going to show you where we are so far so you can go back and have a look at another look at the other to see the difference if you like now these are just my own nails with French pink very very thin coat of the uh, builder gel um, very pale pink I've gone for because I want them to just look clean um, and I don't want a really strong French manicure line because I've done that before. I want them to look more like natural nails but um, with some, I don't know, they tend to look like this when I put a protein and a top coat over them. Um, so I wanted them to look as they are that I'm growing them myself and uh, I think they just look so much nicer than they did when I started. So I've saved one to show you me removing it and uh, putting this on. So because I don't want a strong manicure line, I've got this one which is out of the Savalan set and it's not a really extreme white. Uh, I'll show you the differences. That's that one. And I've also got this, which is uh, Victoria Wynn Extreme White. So you can go for an extreme white if you want, but can you see the differences in them? So I'm not using that one today, but feel free if that's what you fancy doing. And you can get the very sharp line um, by doing your nail bed first and then filing round it. Um, but I would recommend if you do that to put a coat on first, thin, just to give you some strength. Um, and then you can file round where you put the builder gel. But what I'm going to do with this is, on your natural nail, they're never very sort. They're not superbly straight along where your nail bed, uh, you know, your free edge there, or smile line as people call it. So they're never perfect, are they? They're always a little bit not raggy, but uneven. So I want to show that um, so they look more natural. Uh, and you can see what they're like. Another reason for doing them short like this is I want to have a go with another video putting um, soak off, not soak off, peel off base coat and trying to do extensions on them because I don't want to keep taking these nails right down to rock bottom. But I've saved this one so we're going to start uh, and I'm going to remove them but I'll just move these gels out of the way. And uh, I'm going to clip. Now you've two choices taking your nail down. You can clip it all the way down or you can use your e-file and take it down. So I'll show you a little bit like that. So I would get quite a strong nail bit. Which in my case is this one from Melody Susan. Have it on forward and have it on about 1200. I never really go much faster than that. And then what you're going to do is work across the nail and sort of be cutting it down like that. So 
So you just sort of file it into it. And you can go all the way across. You could shorten nails like this as well if you like. When I get to the other side, I'm turning it over. And it's good if you do it this way because you want to see where your natural nail is underneath. But I'm going to clip these now. So, this is what I've learned not to clip right down near my natural nail because I don't want it to break off completely. But I'm going to take quite a bit of that bulk off and it's probably fire across. Oh, think they're bad there. Look how thick they are, even when you think they're thin. They're still quite thick. I wish I were a contortionist at this stage. That's better. There. Right, so I've clipped all that off and that's the thickness that we've got. This was the... Um, dual forms I did with the poly gel and then I got bored with the colour so I painted some of this peachy colour on top and I weren't that fussed. So yeah, time for a change. Right, I'll put music over when I'm filing uh, but I'll leave it in real time for you to see but I'll just show you the bits I'm using. So this is the uh, medium, I don't go for coarse, I'm a bit a bit of a scaredy cat yet um and it's a one way one way bit in fact now i think you could probably do both of this let me feel it no if you feel it up like that and it feels fairly smooth and then when you come back down it feels rough then it's a one way right handed so i need to go against my thumb like that then i will go once i've got the bulk down i'll go to this one which is a safety safety bit it's still a medium um but they're both classed as medium but that one's a bit stronger than this one don't know why um and yeah it's got that safety dome on the top then i shall be going for the cuticle work and for that i'll use these two so i use this one to go around like this and then this one if i've got any Say I don't want to go all the way down to my natural nail bed and for getting the loose bits of sort of dead skin off there then I'll go down like this and get that so these are the ones that came with the Melody Susie uh, drill that I've got which is the scarlet uh, and then these were both as separate bits so I'll just pop those back in the holders because I'm a bugger for losing them um yeah so i'll stop and start again so i'll put some music over this next bit
So, I've taken my mask off and uh, fouled as much as I want to. So that's the natural nail under there now. And sometimes your nails are a funny colour because of nail polish and stuff. Sometimes it's work and you get muck underneath and everything. But I wanted them to look clean, so that's why I've put this white on first. So I'm just going to give it a wipe down with some acetone. Uh, not acetone, alcohol, just to get rid of some of that dust, save me getting up and going and washing my hands. There we are. Now normally, if I have had stick-on nails, because I've never really done nails properly, but if I've had stick-on nails on and I've managed to keep sticking them back on for a while, and my nails have grown, then within an hour I've broken them off. So this will be interesting to see whether I keep these. Right, I'm going to uh, nail prep. Well, because I've just done all that uh, filing, I don't suppose it's uh, there's going to be much moisture left on that surface, but it gets rid of some of them, that dust as well anyway. Then I'm going to use uh, Acid Free Primer. Use whichever you choose. I just happen to be using the other. Um, now, if you notice on there, I've got a little bit of the uh, gel still on there. But it's not so cough, so... Can you see my nails are naturally ridged anyway? I don't want to take it any lower than that. I mean, they'd grown out about that far. So I've took any loose bits off, but I'm happy to leave that on to give me a bit more strength. I'm just going to use this acid free primer around there. Not on my skin. That'll do. And I'm going to go with the way I've been doing it anyway is one coat of base coat to start. Only thin, to just help with my ridges. side away a little bit. I find it's easier doing it on a model than doing it yourself, isn't it? But so I'm almost taking it back off again, really. So that's that. Right, I'll get up to 30. Right, I'll try and zoom in a little bit more for you now, but I don't want to go out of shot. You don't need much on the end, but like I say, if you want a sharp line, then do your nail bed first and file it and then put your white on. Um, but I want this sort of muted, muted smile line. How am I going to keep in short? Uh, there. I'll pull that there. That's it. Right. So, I'm just going to get a little bit and work it off. You get a long string on it, just turn it until it pops back in. That's it. And I'm going to just go on the end. doesn't matter if it sticks up because we're going to file it down. I'm staying attached. Go as deep as you want. Still attached now even though it's a string. 
It's the angle that's difficult on my thumb. I hope you can still see me. So the main thing I would look for is whether I'm, that line, whether I'm happy with that, and that's that line's following where my natural line is. Apart from that bit. That's it, right. Make sure there's none here. None under there. And I'm going to give that 30 seconds. And then I'll infill behind that with the uh, pink. Now I'm just using the pale pink and I've already done the right hand. I probably would have been happier to cover the lines on my nails with a slightly darker pink but I'm restricted to just the two that I've got in the builder gel at the minute so that cleans off nicely on there without getting fluff on it so that's that that's up 30 seconds so it's still sticky And then I'm going to use this French pink. So I've got my Savaland brush somewhere, there, which is slightly wider. Um, and when I put this away, I'll use one of these to wipe it on. Um, and then just put it back in and leave some of the gel on it. Never seems to be a problem, but I've just used it, so we'll go with this. So, slightly bigger. I can always add a bit more on. There's a bubble in the middle of that. I'll get rid of that. And then... Curl it over to the right and the left. Not going right down to the edge. I can always sort that out in a minute. The main thing is that you don't want to divot between the white and the pink. So we're going to go over the white a little bit more. I don't really want an apex on it. I just want it to be natural nail and slightly thicker, but fill in that gap there. What's there? I'll check the sides. A bit of glitter's appeared. Yeah. That isn't quite thick enough in there. I'm going to pull that back a bit. That's it. Just to cover my stripy fingernails. And it doesn't matter about... Oh, it doesn't matter about a hump because it'll file down. It's divots you don't want. Divots uh, means holes, indentations. The tiny bit on my cuticle looks. I'm going to get that. Yeah, should use a clean up brush for that. But I haven't got one out, so that was a bit naughty. That's it.
And I'm going to give that a um, full 60 seconds. When I was doing the cuticles, I was changing the uh, Melody Susie from forward to reverse when I did the right hand side of my thumb. And popped it back again. So this is all I do with this. The other side, side, flat. Flat. As long as that looks clean, I'll just pop that back, pop that back in there, and job done ready for next time. That's it. Right, four, three, two, one. There we go. So that's it. Muted. I'll just file that down now and give it a wipe first and then uh, we'll come back with the file. Top coat it anyway, let's have a look at it. They look pretty enough. Sorry, I go quiet when I'm brushing. <laughs> I think I filed a bit too much white away from that side, but we're just going to see how long these last with that bit of builder gel on. Yeah, end result. So the left hand, let's zoom out again. Uh, the left hand is a bit better than the right hand, but it's not too bad. For a right hand. Uh, I've not even built that up. That one had broken a little bit anyway. And uh, I've not built it up so I'm not bothered. Uh, not bothered a minute. I just want to get some work done. So, yeah. That's it. Miss Cuticle Oil. And we've nearly done, so 
short and sweet, didn't think you want to see me do 10 of them. So thank you ever so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please click the like button. And give me some suggestions if there's anything particular you want me to have a go at. And if I've got the equipment, then I'll do it for you. What do you think? Ooh. Happy with those. Right, see you next time. Love you loads. Bye. Mm -hmm.